In this video, we're gonna look at how to start a reseller hosting business. Reseller hosting allows you to sell web hosting without having to manage complex infrastructure. Essentially, this allows you to rent the resources of a large hosting provider, break that down into packages and sell that to your ideal audience. Your clients will be buying hosting from you, will be submitting support tickets to your service, Meanwhile, you are backed by a large hosting company that has the infrastructure and resources to provide the service and to give you the support that you need. And we all know that not every industry is the same. Not every website is the same. So with reseller hosting, you're able to create packages for specific niches that will meet their needs. So who is reseller hosting perfect for? Well, for a start, you may be an entrepreneur who is looking at starting your own hosting business, but don't want to invest in all of the infrastructure. By using a reseller host, you can focus on the service and support whilst the team behind the reseller manage all of the tech. It's also perfect for web designers and web agencies who manage multiple sites and perhaps want to develop an ongoing relationship with their clients with recurring revenue for web hosting, for care plans, and for email. Reseller hosting is a great way to get recurring revenue into your business. With reseller hosting, you're able to brand it as your business, generate recurring revenue, revenue, manage the client relationships, and you are in full control of the pricing and the plans. So what should you look for when choosing a reseller plan? First and foremost is speed and reliability. I want to know my clients' websites are gonna be fast and they are gonna stay online. Next is hosting that grows to my needs and to my clients' needs. So as I or my clients scale, I need to know that I can scale the services that I offer them. Specifically in my agency, as we deal with WordPress, we would be looking for a plan that allows for WordPress management that would include tools such as one-click install, but also update management and settings management. Next would be varied hosting options. Not all websites are the same. They may have different needs, such as the architecture. You may be looking for Linux or for Windows, or perhaps you need a full VPS. And as every website is different and clients' needs are different depending on the industry that they're in, you want to be able to customize all of the hosting plans and of course set your own pricing that the market can support. Beyond hosting, you may want to provide more value to your clients through extra add-ons such as selling domains, SSL, or virtual private servers. And we all know how important it is that we provide excellent service and support to our clients. So we'd expect 24 hour support seven days a week. So with all of that said, I wanna dive in now and give you a full demonstration of how the 20i reseller hosting plans work. We're here in the My20i dashboard, and the first thing I'd like to do is white label the experience that my clients will have. I'm gonna do that first by going to Reseller Management, and then Reseller Preferences. Now I'll click on Reseller Customization. In here, you can see I can set the brand name and then press Save. Next, I can also upload a logo and press save. You'll see here I've set my own domain so that when my clients are checking out the control panel, connecting to FTP, perhaps looking at PHP, my admin, etc., it's all through my domain. Next, let's create a hosting package that our clients will be able to purchase. We'll head on over to hosting package types and click on manage. You can see here we have two packages available. That's Linux Unlimited and WordPress Unlimited. To add another one, let's go ahead and click on add package type. Let's give this a name of green WordPress hosting. We can select here from different platforms 
In this case, I'm going to select Linux, although you can select Windows or even add a managed VPS. If I scroll down, I can now control all of the limitations. Do I want to give people everything or do I want to limit the web space they have available? As we scroll down, you can see there are tons of other features that you can enable or disable depending on the experience that you want your client to have. As we scroll down, you'll see we can set up our welcome email, set up the one-click installers, select what the default PHP version should be, and set up a default SSH key. When we are ready, we can go ahead and click on Save Package Type. Now, at present, you can see that our new package has appeared in the unassigned hosting packages. We're going to need to assign this so that it will be available for purchase. Let's go ahead and assign this hosting package to host shop so that clients would be able to purchase it. To do that, we'll head on over to host shop and product catalog. Then we'll click on hosting products. Down here, I can click and select the green WordPress hosting plan that I've just set up. We can attribute a limit on the number of packages sold, and we can also select a location. I've only paid for a UK data center in my package. However, you can also add the USA. Once you're ready, click add plan. Let's now scroll down and set our price for our new plan. Now we've just got here a default of monthly and we could say that it's 10 pounds a month and press save. However, we might also want to offer a different period, perhaps quarterly, semi-annually, annually, etc. So I'm going to select monthly and annually. Here I'll enter my annual price of 100, so that's a saving of two months, and press save. You can see here that my domain that I set up is being used. We have a product link that we can send clients to, and we also have some direct links to the monthly or the annual option. When setting up your hosting packages, it is important that you consider your target audience. It may be possible that there'd be a one size fits all. However, it's more likely that certain clients will have certain needs and certain budgets. Therefore, it's a good idea to take a look at the different types of clients you want to attract, the sort of websites that they will be managing, then take a look at your competitors, see what sort of packages and prices that they're offering in order for you to set up something that will be flexible and attractive to your target audience. Now that we have these set up, we're going to want to set up our website so that we can accept orders. To do that, we're going to go back to host shop and then down to configuration. You'll see here the host shop is currently closed. I've changed the domain so that we can have a preview. And if we were to click on here, there would be nothing available at the moment. We need to rectify that first by setting up a payment gateway before we can activate host shop. Let's scroll down on the left hand menu and we'll select payment gateways. You'll see here there are a wide range of payment gateways available to you so you can receive payment for products. In this example, I'm just going to set up a quick bank transfer. We would input the information we want our client to use when paying us, the terms, and give this a label. So let's add the payment gateway. Once done, we'll head back on over to the configuration and activate the shop. Let's take a look at the example shop that's been set up. Here we can see the packages and specifically the package that we set up earlier. So let's go ahead and click on order now. I'm going to say I'll choose my domain later. Press continue. I'm going to create a new account as a potential new client of yours. And then I would go through the process, including checking out via the payment methods that you have set up. Everything that you see here is customizable in the host shop. To control the look and feel of the host shop, let's go and configure the theme. 
We're doing that in Reseller Preferences and we'll select Stack CP Theme. Currently we have the default selected, but I'm going to go ahead and select Pentagram. So here we have an example of the Pentagram theme in action. I'm going to switch back to the default theme, but then I'm going to scroll down and select an alternative header banner. Let's select from one of these that are already available. You can also select your own. So I shall click on this one. If I scroll down further, I'd be able to upload my own fav icon. I can activate alternative icon sets. If I expand this section, I can add in my own HTML to create my own header. I can also do a live preview that will allow me to control things like the color scheme. If I expand the custom footer, I can again create my own custom footer that matches my brand with all of the information that I want to show. I can also add in some custom fonts again that will match my brand. And as we scroll down, you can see you have a lot of control over how this is going to look and your customer's experience, including the ability to inject your own CSS, where the world is essentially your oyster. Here we can see how a client can submit a ticket in your branded website. They would fill in the subject, select their department, and fill in the information. They can attach a file and then create the support ticket. What you can also do is activate inside of HostShop the support database and select what articles you want to show. If I click on here, therefore, your clients can go through a whole load of articles that will help them with their service. I added that section simply by activating this area and I can control the branding and also all of the different categories that are shown in the support database. So as you can see, 20i reseller hosting has a lot to offer. Fully white labeled and customizable, a robust and optimized hosting infrastructure, built-in speed, reliability and security, plans that grow with you and your customers, so no nasty surprises, opportunities to increase revenue through value-added services and add-ons, excellent potential for a profitable recurring revenue stream, all backed by 24-7 support. Click the link in the description to get started with 20i reseller hosting today.